Hello, it's Ryan from 2MinuteTennis.net and in this video I'm going to show you how to get into the perfect serve trophy pose. Please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. Even share this video with a friend as those are the best ways to support this channel. Alright, so there are two positions coaches talk about all the time. The trophy position and the waiter's tray. Now the waiter's tray is an absolute killer and it's something that we all do when we first begin or almost all do. I know I did when I was learning the game of tennis, right? You, you point your strings up to the sky and then you just kind of patty cake the serve. But after a while you have to get rid of that motion if you want to hit your best serves, your fastest serves and be able to reliably put spin on the ball. So the position we want to get into is this position here. It's this what people call the trophy position. So let me show you my serve in slow motion. I'm going to diagram it, then I'm going to come back here in my basement. So you can do this, no excuses, you can do this anywhere. And I'm going to give you three simple drills to get rid of your waiter's tray and start using a perfect trophy position serve. Now there's one position in particular that I want to show you and you need to get into to hit your best serves. And it's this position right here. If we zoom in, and if we just concentrate on what is in the yellow circle, you'll notice that my hitting hand, my hitting elbow, and my hitting shoulder are all at the same height. This position is not a position you see in players who do the palm up waiter's tray, but it is a position you'll see from Fetter. This is how you use the proper motion to get into the trophy pose. See, when your strings are facing down, your palm is facing down, it allows you to then draw this 360 degree circle where the racket passes in over my head. You can see that I'm doing exactly that. My racket is passing in over my head. Notice again, the circle here. My hand, my elbow, and my shoulder are all the same height with my palm facing down. And now watch my racket pass in over my head. In fact, while I'm doing this, my strings are facing down at every moment. And I shouldn't say directly down, but slightly down. You can see this. At no time are my strings facing up. And you'll see this all the way to getting on edge. My racket's still not facing up. Here even my strings are facing slightly down. Let's see the next frame. Now my strings are starting to face up to hit the ball. But my strings were facing down throughout the entire meat of the swing from right when the ball uh, leaves my hand to toss, in over my head, and around. And that's only possible. And by the way, that's what gives you the trophy pose. And that's only possible if you get into this position. This is a position I try to get my students in. I try to get their hitting hand, their elbow, and their shoulder all at the same height. That's what allows them to swing properly and get into the correct trophy pose. Now the first thing I want you to do is make sure throughout this process when you're doing the drills I'm about to show you that you're filming yourself. So whether you're, you're in your kitchen or you're in your basement the way I am or you're in your backyard or your driveway, it's important that you know what you look like. So grab your phone, give it to someone in your family and, or set it up on a, on a candle or whatever you got to do and I want you to film yourself and know what you look like through this process. So here's the first drill that's going to get you out of this waiter's tray position and get you into the proper trophy pose. The first drill is just to salute and make this move. So do this with me right now. My palm is down and now my palm is down again. So my palm is down the whole time. Just thinking of the saluting motion when you serve gives you the proper feeling of actually the proper throwing motion that you should use on your serve. When players do the waiter's tray, they get their hand facing up and the hand is above the elbow or even worse, it's in front of, the, the elbow is in front of the hand. Well, the saluting move keeps the palm facing down and you could actually think of saluting then throwing, saluting then throwing. And I'll show you from the back. Saluting and then throwing. Just having that idea in your mind will give you a better throwing motion, like you're throwing a football, and that's only going to translate in, into hitting better serves. So that's the first thing, is just understand the saluting position. The second position, again, without a racket. 
I want you to, and I'm in my basement, so I'm not going to toss, but you could actually do a toss. And by the way, whenever you toss and you're trying to work on your motion, don't catch the ball because people toss and they go, and then they worry about catching. Don't worry about catching. Just toss and just stop and let the ball just fall and make sure that you're doing the technique and the drill correctly. Here's the next thing. It's going to be to toss the ball and stop with your hand, your elbow, and your shoulder all the same height. So I'm lifting and as I lift, my arm bends slightly and my hand, elbow, and shoulder are all the same height. So I'll do this a couple times and I'll let you see this from different positions. So I'm going to lead slightly with the tossing hand. So my arms do come up at a similar time, look at Fetter, but the tossing arm leads. That creates the environment for racket speed because now my racket has to speed up. You don't want your arm to come up before the toss generally because then your hitting arm has to slow down to wait for the toss. So we want to create the environment for racket speed. So we want that toss to lead and then we stop right here. Hand, elbow, shoulder, the same height. Watch it from this direction. <laughs> Just hit the ceiling. That's the position right there. Hand, elbow, shoulder, all the same height. Then you can take, actually, <laughs> the, the famous birthday hat. You can take a birthday hat, and I'm going to show you a way you can do it without a birthday hat. That's why I'm wearing my hat. You can practice this position here and just knocking off the birthday hat. So the racket, when you move correctly, is going to come in over your head. Palm is down. Remember, we're saluting. So if we use the saluting move, the racket will pass in over your head. If you don't have a birthday hat, you can just use a normal hat with the brim sticking way up. And you're then going to pass the racket as you're saluting. You're going to pass the racket in with the strings facing down and you're going to knock your hat off from in front to back. This position, this palm down, hand, elbow, shoulder position is really the key to getting into the trophy pose. The trophy pose is great. It's what we see the pros doing. It's how they swing and get such effortless power. If you film yourself or if you take lessons and your coaches are trying to get rid of your palm up serve, work on saluting, work on this hand, elbow, shoulder position at the same height and work on bringing the racket in over the head, knocking off the party hat or knocking off a regular hat. You start using those three drills and hitting this perfect circular motion, just like you see Federer use, you're going to gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.